Hello everyone and I am back with a new video. I know it's been a while but uh, I've been busy with work unfortunately. But uh, I've got a new thing for you guys that you can use for Streamerbot. A new widget uh, which is part of the first words uh, feature that was in my previous video back in March. So I'm going to show you how you guys can have this on your stream. And it's literally just a file that you can just import on Streamerbot and ready to go. So uh, let's take you over to how to do it, shall we? Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do is, of course, have OBS installed for you. Uh, this is not going to work with Streamlabs OBS, by the way, so sorry for you guys who use that. Uh, you're also going to need to have Streamerbot downloaded. Uh, which is the version 0 0.1.14 and you're also going to need to have the move transition plugin which you can actually go over to here and download and then I recommend you just choose the Windows installer version so once that's downloaded I'm going to double click on that and then double click on that let's click on next next install and then we're done we can just now open OBS and have Streamerbot open as well. So I've got a new installation of Streamerbot installed. And what I'm going to do is import the file that you can download, which is the MBT first words. So what you need to do is click on imports up here and then just drag and drop the file in there. And you can see the import string is there. So you can see now we've got a first words initiate and a first words install. And we've also got the queue as well. Uh, so just click on import. And then that's added for you on Streamerbot. The first thing we've got to do is now we've got to create a command called exclamation mark maxi setup. So if you go into our command section and then click on ads, and then I'm going to do exclamation mark maxi setup. You can actually create it as uh, whatever you want, but uh, I just do maxi setup just, um, just to make it simple. And then we can click on the action and then you're going to click on first words install maxi setup and then click on select and then that, that's it that's all set up for you uh now make sure that your um your uh, twitch uh, broadcaster account is connected and also make sure your stream app the obs studio uh websockets is connected uh from streamer bot to obs studio now i am using uh, websockets version 5 which I would recommend you use because it comes with OBS version 28. So you can see I've got it here. And the way you can actually set it up is if you go into OBS here, click on tools and then click on OBS WebSocket settings, you should get a pop up here to say enable WebSocket server. And then you've got the server port there. And then just I haven't got authentication, but that's completely up to you. You can have that uh, if you choose. All right. So now we have got streamer bot all ready here so now what we need to do is just go into my chats uh if i just show you guys here and then i'll just type in exclamation mark maxi setup and then you'll see right down here we have a maxi's breathtaking tools first words and then if i go into here you will see that this has been created for us. The next thing we want to do now is we want to create a group with all these uh, files here. So if I just zoom in again, uh, we need to create a group for these. Um, and so all you have to do is just hold, uh, click on one of them, hold shift, and then click uh, on the, the, the top one there, and then right click and then say group selected items and just Give it any name you want. I just call it MBT dash first words dash group. It can be any name you want. And then there you go. They are all grouped up for you. Uh, so we've got that all sorted. We can actually go into uh, the scene here and then right click and then go to filters. And you can see we have uh, two uh, filters here, one for start and one for stop. So what we want to do is on the start one, we just kind of just want to click on, go scroll down and go get transform. And then on the stop one, we want it to uh, disappear. So if I click on this here and then just start moving it up, it will just disappear off the screen. And then we can just go on to the stop 
here and then just scroll down and say get transform and then now if i click on the start it will appear if i click on the stop it'll disappear and that's pretty much done uh and you can also uh if you want to uh on the if you go onto the background and right click on filters you'll see there is a transparent filter as well and you can actually choose to have the opacity as whatever you desire so let's just say let's keep it at 40 so we have a um kind of like a 40 percent transparency there and then click on close and that's it that's pretty much it we can now go in to our um streamer bot and we can actually go into initiate and you as you can see in the initiate we have uh options uh um to choose from so i've added these for you guys so you can actually just choose whatever you want so this is the background color so you can actually choose what background color you want from the color picker so let's say we can just want a nice pink color here and then click on okay uh the name color we can just choose it let's leave it at blue um, sky blue and then the message color we can choose white or you can just choose like a nice uh, lovely green color yeah it's completely up to you but uh, i'll probably just leave it at white anyway but let's just choose uh, green for now and then what you need to do is go onto the platform section and then on the events on twitch events and then general you have to select the first words section here click on that and then choose initiate and then select and then you're pretty much done so now if i just reset this and then start typing a uh, a, a message uh somewhere so if i start typing um hello don't forget to subscribe maybe i should just hide this away like that oh and there you go it's there all done for you so you can see it's changed the color and it's got the text as green and then the the um the name font was blue so now we can actually add this to our other scene here so i've got a nice lovely scene here um can't really see it sorry it's, but uh you can see that we've got a, a nice background here and um got my lovely logitech webcam but uh, we can just add a scene on this on this scene and then just choose Maxi's breathtaking tools for first words. And then you're pretty much done. So if I go into streaming bot and then just reset that, let's just say we want to um, change the color of, of the initiate. So let's say we want to change the background color to say um, uh, an orange, right? Give that a try. Message color. Let's just leave that at maybe white. Done. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. And then we're done. I've reset it. So now if I just type the message again, it will appear for us and that's pretty much it so um if you guys like this video um don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you disliked it then dislike it and um if you have any questions just uh, let me know in the comments below i'll try to respond as much as i can but uh until then have a wonderful day and i shall see you on the next video Bye bye <laughs>